Hello everyone, this is CypherDeck, and today we're going to be playing EverQuest Project 1999. I'm on Fever, and we are in Charisus or Helling Stones, whichever you wish to use for the name. And we are in the south wing, I believe, of the of the zone. We killed here for a good probably two hours. The experience was absolutely amazing. Um, I think I may have died once the whole time, but we are in a 25% experience weekend, so definitely go out and make the best of it. I am really, really enjoying playing this character. If you notice in this uh, group that whenever I do cast, my casts normally land, and that's that's what I'm I'm really when I'm really enjoying the character is whenever I'm actually adding to the damage of the group. Now, I think this was pretty late, if I remember correctly, probably early, early morning. So I think a lot of us were out of it, and uh, that included myself. So if I sat there for a little longer than I had to, or didn't cast on a mob, that's probably because I was half passed out. <laughs> if it, that's not true, that's not true. I, but I was I was falling asleep um, during this this group. So I am going to be level fifty one probably today. Whenever I post this, um, which is amazing because at level fifty one, wizards can get back into quad cutting again. Not that they couldn't quad kite before. But quag kiting is made easier by the new level spell because it's going to do a whole lot more damage. And of course, being quag kite spells, the amount of mana that they use for that damage is not very much. Like I got Supernova, which is a PBAOE, that thing takes 800 mana and does 800 damage to, to the mobs. The um, quag kite spell that I get... I forget what the damage is, if it combines it throughout all the mobs, or if it's for each mob, but um, I know that it only costs around 230 to 260 mana, so it's not going to be anything that's going to hurt my mana pool, being that I'm closer to 26 per, uh, 2600 now, and I am starting to work on getting upgrades I was able to get a diamond the other day, so I now just need to get uh, that turned into some resistance gear, or I might just go ahead and sell it and save to get the blue diamond resistance gear, which would be better, and I think some of the blue diamond pieces actually give you mana as well, so you would be replacing those during raids, but you would be replacing them with mana items that have high resist on them. So that's something that I'm going to be looking into. Um, I think after level 51, the next big spell level is going to be 57. Because at 57, I think... Now, don't don't take this from, uh, from me uh, as being correct information. But 57 is whenever I get my evacuate, I believe. Which allows me to evacuate people across Seren's Grotto and other zones. Um, it also allows uh, me to get, oh, what is this spell? Um, it gives me the other quad kite spell, the, the next quad kite spell, which I know for a fact that's 800 damage per mob. So, and then again, it's within that two to 300 mana range, which is not very much whenever you consider Ice Comet is around three to 400 mana range. If, maybe it's 400 even, if I remember correctly. So, those are the things that I'm going to be looking forward to next. Of course, there's spells between those that I'm going to definitely want to get. I think once I get level 51, I also get a 600 damage fire spell. And um, that is an upgrade to my current fire spell, which is 200 damage. Well, it's one of those things that when I was, um, whenever I was starting to get up into level, I was like, okay, level 49, I'm going to get Ice Comet. That's a 1200 damage spell, uh, once you get high enough level. So it increases in damage as you level, uh, into a point and then they'll, uh, stop around 1200, uh, damage. 
as a wizard, you're like, well, okay, this is just the beginning. This is the tip of the iceberg. So the next spell I'm going to get is probably going to be like 1300 damage and 14 and 15. That's not how, that's not how it is at all. Uh, but what they do is they increase the damage of specific elemental spells like fire, magic, and so on. So my current magic damage is at 800. Fire is at 200. And ice is at, of course, 1120 at, the, at, at my level, which is ice comment. And then quad kite spells, those start to increase as well as you level up. So each spell type is what you're looking forward to next. While it may not seem like it's an upgrade to you, whenever you're fighting mobs who cannot be hit by ice, that 600 damage uh, fire spell is very important. And so that is, that's why I'm, I'm very happy to get those spells. It may not seem important at the time, but whenever you look towards the mobs that you're going to be fighting and the zones that you're going to be fighting in, in Vilius, a lot of mobs are fire resist or cold resistant. So you need to look for those fire <laughs> upgrades. Um, also the magic upgrades, but magic is highly resisted in, in most mobs. So just think about that. And also um, hopefully wait until enchanters uh, debuff the mobs and then then cast hopefully hopefully your enchanter is debuffing everything but i mean that that may not always be true but anyway guys i just wanted to say hopefully you're having a great weekend this after this holiday enjoying your 25 percent experience and i will check you in the game let me know if you see me if you want to hang out I'm always up for duos and grouping and, and all of that with all of you because you guys are the ones who help me do what I do. I mean, I, I would be, I'd still be doing videos of every request. It's just something that I enjoy, but hanging out with you guys is what makes it most enjoyable. Either way, guys, thank you so much. This is Cypher Deck. Peace out. Mm -hmm.